children indirectly benefit from this research because the better we understand typical and atypical development, the better we will be able to develop treatments and interventions. My name is Sabine Hunyas and I work here at the Dundas Institute and the Baby and Child Research Center as a professor in developmental cognitive neuroscience. And the Baby and Child Research Center is one of the largest and most prolific research centers in the field of early development in Europe. I'm Johanna, Johanna Harder. I'm a research assistant. The paper research that I'm working on is uh, the Preschool Brain Imaging and Behavior Project, um, and that's conducted on more international sites. So uh, we collect our data here in Nijmegen, but we also uh, collect a lot of data um, in four different sites. So that's London, Ghent, uh, Paris, and Stockholm, um, so that we hopefully can collect as much data as possible about the de developmental um, characteristics of children with and without developmental uh, conditions, such as autism. Autism spectrum disorder is so diverse, it's never the same. So we really aim for combining these measures to see if there's something going on with all these people who have autism. Um, that maybe give us a better insight in how it develops and how we can maybe even see it earlier or diagnose earlier for, of course, better treatment. During the first visit, we do a lot of behavioral and developmental testing. So um, we do some testing uh, to see what their social skills are like and um, we determine their developmental age. And after it, we have an observation uh, of the parent and child interactions. The first test day is then uh, closed by uh, an eye tracking experiment uh, where the children look at some videos and pictures and everything um, uh, while we follow their eye movements. For the second test day that they're coming in, we do an EEG measuring their brain activity while they watch some videos, pictures, um, and also while they have a moment of closing their eyes, so in resting state. And the last day is normally during the evenings because we perform an MRI sleep scan. From all these tests, we, um, of course, we aim for getting a full image of not only their developmental and behavioral, uh, characteristics but also what literally happens in the brain, what the development in the brain looks like. We use the media recorder for uh, observing and uh, videoing all the behavior that we're seeing during the test day. Video recordings, it is very important that we can um, videotape a whole room and um, uh, videotape for example a diet of a caretaker and a child who are playing together from different angles. So we see the parent as well as the child at the same time. I think that during the coming years, we will learn so much more about early brain development, typical and atypical development, understanding the mechanisms that drive typical and atypical development much better. So I think it's one of the most exciting fields to be in at the moment. So all our research would not be possible without enthusiastic families who participate. All the parents and children are, play an extremely important role in the progress of research and scientific insights. So we shouldn't forget about them, and we should thank them um, every time we talk about our research. So that's what I would like to do.